Hi, I'm Trey Ratcliffe, and now that Aurora HDR 2018 is out for both PC and Mac, let me show you some of my favorite new features. Okay, well, welcome to my studio. We're going to work on this really fun image from Puerto Rico. It was sort of a kind of quick throwaway travel shot, I guess, in a way. Um, you know, I'm always obsessed by photos, and this one, I was really pleasantly surprised when I got it into Aurora just to see the magic that it brought into it. All right, so here we are. I've already uh, brought in three photos. And remember, you don't have to use three photos. You can use a single photo, you can use a single RAW, you can use a single JPEG. It still is a very powerful tool um, either way. All right. So let me just go and show you the before and after of what's gone on here. You can look at the before. If I hold down this little eye thing, before and after, before and after. And then, of course, I've got this little slider scrubber thing. You can just see how much more alive it is, how much more texture it is. Um, this is really kind of a cool area because these blue bricks are all in the streets of San Juan, Puerto Rico. It makes everything kind of feel glowy. But isn't that nice? It kind of just makes you want to take photos all the time, I guess, which we do because we're, we're photographers, right? Um, before I show you uh, one of my favorite new areas of Aurora HDR 2018, you know, it's got all these new features. It's got uh, the history panel, so you can do non-destructive sliding. It has lens corrections, um, all, all this awesome jazz. Uh, but first, let me move this away and pull up these, um, these preset options, okay? Um, you don't have to go into all the panels, all that detailed stuff. You can just go choose different kinds of presets, um, especially if you're a beginner. Or even advanced. Sometimes I'll go in here, I might pick that realistic HDR and just click around on different presets to see what they do, you know. And if sometimes you find that they're too extreme, let's, let's go pick an extreme one under the dramatic, right? Like this one, Sleepy Forest, okay. If you find that to be too extreme, you can just grab this slider and slide it down. So maybe you only want like 50% of it or so, right? Many ways to skin the cat, all right. But for now, uh, let's go in here and choose architecture. And I kind of like this one, uh, Architecture HDR Look 1. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, now let me show you an oft-overlooked feature. And at first I was actually a little confused about what this feature was, but now I know after talking to the developer. Um, it's all down here, deep down inside. It's called HDR Details Boost. Okay, so let's zoom into 100% on some of this nice texture here just so we can... We can, let's go even go tighter. Let's go to 200. Okay, so this nice texture here, maybe right around here. Okay. Now every time you zoom in and out, it does a little bit more processing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the small, medium, and large, and this really gets that fine texture working in there. All right. I also move the protection a little bit because you want to protect against the white area. Sometimes you don't want to have hard edges around the white area. Um, but this does, uh, you can see the before and after the amount of detail and overall, you can just see the amount of detail that happens here. So don't be afraid to come in and play with this HDR details boost. I almost like to think of it as not like HDR details, but almost like um, sharpening. It's like a way to make your photo super duper sharp. Okay, Okay. so we'll look at a final before and after. Uh, here's the before and here's the after with all those nice little grungy detail sharpness in there. I love it. All right. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I've got some other videos. Uh, I hope you love Aurora HDR 2018 as much as I do.